Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to review of Geoish, the 11th studio record by the band The Eight State. Today we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of the record, so I had to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple. Back when I was young, like 4 or 5 years old, we had German television stations at my house, so I would watch MTV and Viva Zwei, and this band's music videos would play every single day. I especially enjoyed their music videos for songs like Dinah Shoot and Unrock Bar because they were quite funny to me at the time. I like when bands have a sense of humor, and this band has it a lot. On this record we have the classic lineup, so Farin on the vocals and guitars, Bella on the vocals and drums, and Rodrigo on the vocals and bass. As you can see this is a double album, but it's considered to be a single entity. We have 26 songs plus one hidden track. Also for b-sides that are on the singles, as usual every band member contributes to the writing process, so we have songs written just by Farin, or by Bella, or by Rodriguez, or by all of them. Also, what I love about the Wikipedia page for this band is the fact that every song is explained, like what the song is about, like here, you got this, this is beautiful. So I don't have to remember which song is about what, because you can easily find that on the Wikipedia page. Great! Let's start with the first CD, Schwarz's Geoish. Now the production is tight, it's clean, but heavy in loudness, we're not clipping just the way I like it. I love how the snare sounds on both of these CDs, message is diverse. The songs are mostly about personal struggles, relationship issues, society, politics, lots of humor stuff. To find out more, read the lyrics or go to their Wikipedia page. Structure of the tracks is basic standard intro, verse, chorus, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro, and the music is like a mix of pop punk, punk rock, alternative rock, even metal in some moments. That's why I enjoy this band, because you never know what to expect of them. The record starts with the song As Ich Den Punk A Fan, and the first thing you're going to notice here is the drumming. It's there for both of the CDs. Bella is a fantastic drummer, I don't understand how he can play standing up and also do the vocals at the same time. You have to be very talented to do that kind of thing. Then we have the bass work by Rodriguez, and the bass is audible, he mostly follows the guitars, but there are lots of moments here where he plays just with the drummer, I love his bass lines. Then we have the guitar work by Farin, and I just love his crunchy guitar riffs. We also have some more punky stuff and lots of melodic lead guitar work here and there, you know, acoustic stuff, all of that. I truly enjoy it. Finally, we have the vocals and every member of this band is a singer. So let's start with Farin. He's my favorite vocalist here. I love his yelling, shouting, singing. I just love his voice. I cannot find any flaw in it. Then we have Bella. He has the worst voice. Like, sometimes he sounds fine. But mostly I just don't enjoy the vocal melodies he comes up with. Then you have the bassist, Rodriguez, and he just sounds okay. Not bad, not great. So this opening song, it's actually nothing special. It's kinda a fast, hard, punky song, but the intro doesn't suggest that at all. Like it starts very mellow, then it explodes. And yeah, it's nothing fancy, it's just a decent track. I do enjoy it, but the vocals are just fine, the music is awesome. Okay, like, this is the kind of song that you're not going to remember after the record is over. 6 out of 10. System is better, because it's very experimental, it has world music vibe to it, Farin is singing here, on the previous song I think Bella was singing. System is fun, it's way better than the previous song. But it's not for everyone, because it's very <laughs> experimental. 7 out of 10. T-Error. Now this song was written by the bassist, and I think he also sings here with Farron and Bella. And I love this one so much. It has energy. It has intensity. It has that rock and metal vibe to it. I love the chorus and the verses so much. I don't know why this wasn't a single with a music video. 10 out of 10. Nicht allein. Now this song isn't as good as the previous one, it's on the level of system, you know? Also, I feel like this one wasn't nothing special, like it was a standard song, I did enjoy the vocals, not all of them, they were just fine, you know, 7 out of 10, I don't know how to pronounce the fifth song, Dinch von Dinen, or however you say that. This one is the weakest one on the album, like, 
I don't enjoy this one at all. It's like a ballad I think, Bella is singing here for sure and yeah, not for me, 4 out of 10, they gunt. Now this one is fantastic, I love the chorus so much because they are just screaming some gibberish. The verses, fun as well, but they aren't as good as the chorus. 9 out of 10, Geister House has that alternative rock vibe to it, it's a very smooth and sad song, but it's also upbeat I would say, I do enjoy listening to it, yet again, it's nothing special. But when you're going through the record, you're like, yes, this is fun, this is enjoyable. 7 out of 10, Ein Mann. This one is much shorter, I think it was 2 minutes long. Farin is singing here. The song has much more energy, and I do enjoy it, but some of the vocal choices are actually quite surprising because they don't land, like, at all. 7 out of 10, Andes als beim letzten Mal. Now, this song is just decent. Yet again, some of the vocal moments here and there really not for me and the music yeah it's just average it's a decent song like i won't hate on it but i also don't remember anything special about it six out of ten you wish anken now this one brings back some of that energy of ein man i do enjoy the guitar riffs here and the drumming as usual and the bass work the vocals well they're mostly great this song is just good Nothing more. 7 out of 10. The 11th track is I Love Sweden. I don't know how to pronounce that in Swedish, sorry guys. And this song is funny to me because at the end the vocalist is like he was talking about Brazil all the time. He wasn't talking about Sweden. So <laughs> I just love the lyrics on this record because they're just so funny. Not all of them, but some of them are like in this song. That's kinda sad because this song isn't that great to me, like, it's just decent yet again, I just don't feel any positive or very negative thoughts about it, it's like, I listened to it and I had a good time, but I also won't remember it in an hour or so. 6 out of 10, Richtig schon evil, now this song has my favorite verses on this album, the verses are so fun, the vocals just slap, same as the guitar riffs and the drumming. But that chorus, the chorus brings the song down. I wish it had a different chorus. Also, I love the outro where Bella accuses Farin of being evil and satanic because of his debut solo album, which I've actually reviewed on this channel, so go check that out. 7 out of 10, Schneller Leben. Now, this song is my second favorite one here. I just love the lyrics here the vocals, the energy of this one, the guitar riffs, the drumming, the atmosphere. It's not a perfect song, but it's so much fun. Also go check out the lyrics. 9 out of 10. And now we have a hidden track called Hände innen. I think that's how it's pronounced. Sorry if it's wrong. And this one is like a rap track. Farin is like saying, we are the best, yeah, we are the doctors, man. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's not a great song or bad one, but it's just so out of place. I am not surprised it's a hidden track, to be honest. But it's fun, I do enjoy it, I like it. 7 out of 10. Now let's move on to the second city, Jotes Geoish. Now this one starts with Unrock Bar, and this is my second favorite song I'm talking about on both of those cities. This one, I saw the music video when I was like, I don't know, 7 or 8 years old. It was so much funny to me. And then I read the lyrics and the song is basically about Farin breaking up with a girl because she doesn't listen to metal or punk music at all. She basically has an awful music taste and he hates that. And <laughs> this is kinda relatable to me because I was once with a girl who listened to a lot of Evanescence and I just couldn't stand it. <laughs> you know, I do enjoy Evanescence but not as much to listen to it every day for 8 hours a day, you can go mad. So this song is actually great when it comes to the guitar riffs, the drumming and the bass work, the vocals also slap, I love how the verses are very mellow and laid back and then the pre-chorus brings the punk energy and the chorus is like metal music, same with the bridge, the bridge is the heaviest part of this entire album. 
10 out of 10. Dinoshoot is my favorite song here and it's also my second favorite song from this band. The first one being Rebel. So Dinoshoot is just so much fun. The guitar riffs, the bass work, the drumming, the vocals. The chorus is my favorite moment. Es ist nicht deine Schuld, dass die Welt ist wie sie ist. Es ist nicht deine Schuld, ist sie so bleibt. Es ist sie so bleibt. Tum 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 tum, tum 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 tum. Love that stuff. That's so much fun. Then you have the amazing music video, and also the lyrics are very wise. Go read them. Eleven out of ten. Love power. Now this song. Yet again, it brings back the punk energy. I love the drumming here so much, like the snare has that glass punchiness to it. The vocals are also nice, but they aren't the best part of this song, like everything else is. I must say that while the instrumental is just flawless, the vocal performance brings the song a little bit down to me. So it's just a great track. 8 out of 10. Their tag features Selena, or Selena, I don't know how to pronounce that. So, this song would have been great, but I don't enjoy her vocals. Like, I don't hate her or something like that, but she brings the song down. Also, I think Bella is singing here as well, and <laughs> it's not great either. So yeah, this song would have been nice if there were some different vocals on it. As it is, it's just decent. 6 out of 10. Denact. I could say the same thing, the vocals are slightly better here, but the instrumental work is worse. Still, it's a decent track, yet again it's like a filler, it's nothing special, it's just a rock song. 6 out of 10, Nicht in der Welt, this is another track written by Farin, he's also on the vocals here, it's about relationship or something like that, and it has that very sad mellow tone to it, but it's also very hard rock like. I do enjoy listening to it, it would be a good song to listen to as you're driving at night somewhere. 8 out of 10. Die Klugsten Manner der Welt. Now this song is making fun of politicians and I do enjoy the lyrics, but the music and the vocals are just awful. This is the worst song here, but the message is actually great. 4 out of 10. Piercing. Now I am quite astonished that a song about piercing your dick would evoke such emotions <laughs> from me. Because, yeah, the lyrics are just like about the drummer, he pierced his dick and then his girlfriend left him. <laughs> you won't know that if you can speak German. You will think that this is some sad song about love, because it sounds like that. It's hilarious to me. I just love this one. 8 out of 10. Besa Visa Boy features Gunter. Gabriel and this song kind of reminds me of The Offspring Pretty Fly for a White Guy. It has that slight vibe in the verses, the chorus is different and this is just a good song. Yet again, it doesn't grab me that much, but it's fun. 7 out of 10. Then we have Anti Zombie which features Martin and this song goes hard. While the only flaw here for me are the samples from the Day of the Dead, I think, movie. I might be wrong on that. I just don't like samples in songs in general, so yeah. But the vocals here slap. They remind me a lot of the band The Misfits. You know, Danzig, stuff like that. It's a fun punk rock track. It has energy, it's intense, it has speed. I love it. 9 out of 10. Pro Zombie is a song written by Farren about how he wants to become a zombie because then he doesn't have to go to work. And yeah, the lyrics are fun, the music has that pop punk edge to it, it sounds like a Green Day track, so yeah, not my favorite here, but it's it's good, yeah, it's good, 7 out of 10. Then we have a track called Van alle Männer Mädchen Van, or something like that, so if all men were women. That's the translation, I think. It's an okay ballad, Farin is singing it. At the end we have a plot twist where he was like, yeah, everyone is going to be women except me, I'm going to be a guy. And that's just like, eh. It's not that funny to me, you know. 
Yeah, the song is basically pointless, but at least it has cool acoustic guitar riff. 7 out of 10. And the final song on the record, Nicht Wissen. Now this one is actually slightly disappointing because Bella is singing, we have some industrial elements at the end. And yeah, it's just decent. I don't feel this song. It shouldn't have been on the album, 6 out of 10. And now we have 4 songs that didn't make the cut for both of those albums. The first one is called Konto Volmacht, and this one has ok vocals, the music has energy to it. I actually prefer this over Die Nacht or Der Tag or Nicht Wissen. It should have been on the album. It's nothing special, but compared to those songs, I do enjoy it. 7 out of 10. Aus dem Tagbuch eines Amokläufers. Now this one is just decent. I do enjoy the vocals here by Farin. But the music, yeah, it's it's okay. It's nothing special. I understand why it wasn't featured on the album. 6 out of 10. I could say the same exact thing about Power Love. Now this one is not a ballad. And I do enjoy the screaming at the end. But yeah, it's Bella on the vocals, the song is about pleasing a woman, and that's it. That's it, basically. 6 out of 10. And the final B-side, Volume as Gate. Now this one, I have no idea how it wasn't featured on the record. It's like a punk rock song with lots of energy, Farin is on the vocals. It has a very pleasant and positive vibe to it. Like, I can imagine playing the game OutRun 2 on Xbox and listening to this song. It has that vibe, you know, of Miami. 8 out of 10. To sum up both of those records, the consistency is various and the flow is disrupted. Replayability. Yeah, they're both good CDs, so I guess Georg is a good record, you know. You've got two CDs packed with mostly great songs and a couple of ones that are like, yeah, they, they aren't that great. But overall, it's a fun thing to check out. Now I'm going to show you Vice Geoish. Now this is my idea of compiling the best songs from both of those CDs. So as you can see, if it were up to me, I would create a one CD with T-Era, Der Grund, Schneller Lieben, Richtig Schön, Evil, Ein Mann, Jewish Angen. So those six songs from the first CD, and then another six songs from the second CD, Anayok by Dino Shoot, Anti-Zombie, Love Power, Piercing and Nicht in Der Welt. And also at the end, that one B-side, Volume as Gate, because it's very underrated, I don't even know if people heard about it. So yeah, those 13 tracks are the best from both of the CDs. So if this was what would be released, I would give it a great rating, or maybe even excellent. Because those songs go hard, they aren't weak at all. So go and celebrate the anniversary of this record, it deserves your love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe for me on Instagram and subscribe and I will see you in my other videos. Also consider becoming a member on my channel so I can make you an album review or maybe a dub midi cover. Bye!